Happy new financial year. <laughs> Said no one ever. <laughs> <laughs> Today marks the start of the new financial year and what better time to set yourself some goals to reach financial freedom. Now all of us can learn from the world's leading entrepreneurs, thought leaders and cultural icons and how we can achieve success. And joining us for more is the author of Think and Grow Rich, The Legacy, James Whitaker. James, a very good morning to you. Tell us... How possible is it for us to gain financial freedom for ourselves? Well, first of all, happy financial year, team. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a thing. It might be a thing. <laughs> financial success, like any definition of success, is available to everyone who takes, to takes the time to think about what their perfect destination looks like for them. So as long as you're surrounding yourself with the right people, you're elevating your thinking and you're taking the right actions, as long as you're patient over time, success is assured. So Napoleon Hill's book of the same name back in 1937 is one of the most acclaimed books getting around. How is that still relevant today? Well, yeah, the best-selling self-help book of all time, Think and Grow Rich, it's sold more than 120 million copies. And although society and technology has changed so much, the principles of extraordinary achievement remain exactly the same. So they worked for everyone in the original Think and Grow Rich. They worked for everyone in my new book, Think and Grow Rich, The Legacy, and they'll work for you too. Okay, so what are yeah. those tips? Tell us how we do it. <laughs> well, there's a lot to it. So the, the achievement philosophy that Napoleon Hill coined was actually 13 steps. So an example of one of those principles is the power of the mastermind. That says that you don't have to have all the answers yourself, which should be good news for anyone watching. It means that you can harness the energy and resources of other people once you get them excited and aligned with your values and your mission. And another one is the power of persistence. And in the book, we've got Janine Shepard, who many Australians might remember as the national ski champion who was hit by a truck. And she spent 10 days in a coma and six months in a spinal ward. And what she's been able to do since then, uh, purely by persisting, has been quite extraordinary. Mm. All right, James. Good to talk to you this morning. Let's get some good advice there and uh, have a good day. Thanks so much for having me on.